Determining the heat release rate of ventilation-limited fires can be approximated if we consider certain mathematical formulas including, but not limited to, the area and height of the ventilation opening and the shape and location of those openings in relation to the fire. The video is an English translation of work done by Manuel Esquerro, approximating the heat release rates encountered with different sized and oriented ventilation openings. In this video, we are going to burn the same size of fuel packages in each of the single cell boxes. Each of the boxes has an opening that measures 180 centimeters square, or 27.9 square inches, but the configuration and location of the opening differs from box to box for comparison. Temperatures will be measured at 5 centimeters, 2 inches, down from the ceiling, displayed in red, and 5 centimeters, 2 inches, above the floor level, displayed in blue. In addition to temperatures, we will also measure the mass loss rate as an approximation of heat release rate, HRR, and show the value in green on the data charts. Positive pressure ventilation, PPV, will also be introduced in each exercise to show its impact on temperatures and fire growth. In each case, the ratio of inlet to outlet sizes for the positive pressure ventilation will be 1 to 3. With the opening positioned horizontally at various heights for comparison in the first series of burns, fire development is very slow and remains below 250 degrees Celsius, 482 degrees Fahrenheit, until positive pressure ventilation is introduced. Temperatures increase significantly once PPV begins exceeding 600 degrees Celsius, 1112 degrees Fahrenheit. In this second set of box configurations, the fire develops much quicker with temperatures exceeding 600 degrees Celsius, 1112 degrees Fahrenheit, prior to positive pressure ventilation being activated. As the data indicates, the mass loss rate, or MLR, is low in the beginning due to the limited amount of fuel involvement. Prior to positive pressure ventilation being introduced, the mass loss rate rarely exceeds 2 grams per second in the first scenario and fluctuates continuously around 2 grams per second in the third scenario. In the second scenario, with the horizontal opening at the center height of the compartment, the mass loss rate is constant at approximately 2 grams per second after the fire is reignited. Mass loss rate changes significantly with the introduction of positive pressure ventilation. In scenario one, the mass loss rate increases to six grams per second with PPV. In the second scenario, it increases to 10 grams per second, and in the third scenario, it reaches eight grams per second. Comparing scenarios one through three, we can conclude that the heat release rate is highest in scenario two, the horizontal opening at mid compartment height. Comparing the second series of test configurations, we find similar results are achieved at the initial stages as the mass loss rate is limited by the small amount of fuel involved. Prior to the introduction of positive pressure ventilation, the mass loss rate in scenario 4, the vertical opening, oscillates between 2 to 4 grams per second and hovers around 2 grams per second in scenario 5. With the introduction of positive pressure ventilation, the mass loss rate in scenario 4 reaches 18 grams per second and the mass loss rate in scenario 5 exceeds 12 grams per second. In scenario 6, the low inlet and top outlet, natural ventilation increases the mass loss rate considerably, with positive pressure increasing it even further. Taking a direct comparison between scenarios 1 and 4 highlights the difference in orientation and position of a single narrow opening on the compartment. Note that the highest release rate was achieved with a narrow vertical opening similar to a manually controlled door. In direct comparison, the lowest heat release rate occurred with the single narrow opening positioned horizontally across the bottom of the compartment, the same configuration achieved by using a smoke stopper.